Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, welcome. I'm Farron. I do all types of natural hair videos, a little skincare, and a little lifestyle here and there. So if that's the kind of stuff that you're into, please be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell so you'll never miss another upload. Today, you guys are in for a treat. I'm finally gonna show y'all like how I really do wash and goes. I I honestly get the best result in wash and goes when I follow the Dickey method. Listen, I am no expert, I'm still learning, so this is definitely a process for me, but I did wanna show you guys what it looks like when I at least attempt to do one. So if that is something that you are interested in, because I mean, you clicked on the video, you must be interested. Sit down, relax, and enjoy. Let's go ahead and get into this. I'm starting the process on pre-pooed hair. I just went in, dampened it with my 360 bottle, and I went in with the Melanin 7-in-1 Multi-Use Leave-In Conditioner and I kind of finger detangled my hair. I had washed and deep conditioned my hair the night before but I just didn't do anything else to it. So it was already pretty clean for the most part. But according to Anthony Dickey, I always want to call him Eric Jerome Dickey. I am showing my age. But according to him, he says that you don't need to shampoo your hair, just simply rinsing your hair underneath the shower head or spigot or, what, or however you are doing this, preferably in the shower though. That is all the cleansing that you really need when doing your wash and goes. So I did let the pre-poo sit on my hair for about 30 minutes and now I am just simply rinsing that out underneath my shower head. My conditioner of choice for this process is always the heavy conditioner from Pattern Beauty and y'all are going to see me apply this very liberally, okay? This step is very important because I wanna make sure that my strands are not only covered and moisturized, but that I'm also making sure to detangle. You'll see me dip my head underneath the shower head to make sure that my hair is saturated and that I can apply the conditioner and run my fingers through it. Y'all know I have type 4B, 4C hair, so things get a little coily up in there, okay? But by making sure that my hair is saturated not only in water but also in deep conditioner, it makes the finger detangling process so much easier. I have to pay careful attention and make sure that I am reaching my roots because we have to keep the roots moisturized and conditioned as well. So you are going to see me, I'm y'all, I am not kidding. I am liberally applying this. I am, you know. Honestly though, by doing this, it really does elongate my hair and my hair, it, I feel like it adds to the elasticity of my hair and allows my coils to like, really pop you'll also see that i'm kind of doing like a ringing squeezing motion where i am literally squeezing the water moisture and conditioner into my strands i want to make sure fred is covered and smothered okay like we are at waffle house all right and i'm going to allow this to sit for just about five to ten minutes while i shower the rest of my body now what i find most intriguing about this process is that anthony dickey suggests that if you are a 4c natural that you do this every other day he says you should not let your wash and go last any longer than two days when doing wash and goes and when I tell you, that just sounds like a lot of product going down the drain. Like, I just couldn't imagine doing this every two days. Like, I would really clean my stash out if I did this every other day. But, honestly, I feel like my wash and go would be popping. But, like, how do, like, that's, that's, I just find, like, that is a very interesting idea. I don't know if that's something that I'm willing to try just yet. But, fun fact about the Dicky method. <laughs> Anywho, let's get back into this look. So now I've showered, I'm gonna go ahead and rinse the conditioner out of my hair and look at Fred. Like, 
Typically, when I deep condition my hair, you know, Fred likes to shrink up, but look, he's so moisturized. My curls and coils are elongated. They are weighted down and they are ready to be styled in this wash and go. If you are familiar with my channel, you know how Fred can shrink up and be coy and shy sometimes, but no. He is loud and long right about now. At this point in the process, I would usually go in with my leave-in conditioner and apply that liberally, almost to the same extent that I do my conditioner, even doing that same ringing motion to make sure that it is fully penetrated in my hair. But today, I'm gonna do something a little different. I'm gonna try the Big Papa Defining Gel. So according to their directions, I should have went in with Mousse Def to kind of prep my hair, but I wasn't doing all of that in the shower. So I'm just gonna go right in with this gel with no leave-in. <laughs> I feel like I'm setting myself up for failure, but <laughs> we gonna see how this works out. This gel, is so soft and buttery. It's lightly scented. This just feels so good. And the fact that I'm still in the shower, I think really makes a difference with the application product. I know that I am probably using way too much. That's my biggest downfall when it comes to doing wash and goes. They say to apply liberally and I do that times 10. So, <laughs> Just be mindful of that. I told y'all I'm a work in progress. You'll see that I am still occasionally dipping my head underneath the shower because I want my hair to be saturated and I feel like this helps with the application and the distribution of the product throughout my hair. Okay, and once I have applied this all over my head, yeah, I know. I know you see all that product. Now we get to the best part. Yes, shaking your wash and go into shape is probably my favorite part. Hate cleaning my shower afterwards, but this stage is where you really see the formation of your curls and how they are going to set. And y'all, this is when you know, like, this is gonna be successful. I can feel it in my bone. Now I know you're like, okay girl, snatch that bonnet off. We ready to see what um, Fred is looking like. Well, you're gonna have to wait until tomorrow. I'm actually gonna show you all how I diffuse and dry my hair and then you will see the final results of this good old Anthony Dickey method wash and go. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, comment down below and share it with someone that you know. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you in the next one.